So this Chinese influencer actually made over $5 million within 10 days just by selling NFTs of her selfies with some slogans. And perhaps even more ridiculous and amazing is that this Indonesian college student actually made over a million dollars just by selling NFTs of his own selfies. Now obviously, most people will not have the sort of reach that certain social media influencers have, nor will they get as lucky or be as funny as that Indonesian student, but I still believe that NFTs are here to stay as a trend, and there are definitely opportunities within the space, especially if if you are an artist or some kind of creative, especially using some of the tools I'm going to show you or some other ones um, that you can use as well. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you some new and unique ways to create NFTs and also some of the best and cheapest platforms for minting NFTs. But before that, a uh, quick word and shout out to my sponsor of this video, which is my own YouTube courses that you can check out in the description box below. One of them is free on my website. The other one, the premium version, will also have two free video lessons if you want to earn some extra passive income based on your hobbies and perhaps invest that into whatever you want, such as NFTs or crypto or stocks. Anyhow, with that, let's get started with the video. So before we jump into some of the free software you can use to create some truly unique NFTs, I want to first give you some of the rationale behind this in terms of what types of platforms to focus on and what types of file types to actually make as NFTs. So as you probably already know, most of the uh, mainstream NFTs are images, right? So those are JPEGs or PNG files or even GIFs. They can be somewhat animated as well. Um, but there are actually other uh, file types that are notably supported by uh, OpenSea. And you could technically create any type of digital file as an NFT, but that would need uh, or require a lot of technical know-how uh, to be able to mint that and so just by just to make it simple uh, being able to upload something onto OpenSea or another uh, NFT platform you can actually create not only images so JPEGs, PNG, G, uh, GIFs, SVGs but also music files or uh, movie files such as mp3s uh, WAV files, WebM, MP4, so those are movie clips. And then there's also OGG files as yet another type of music file, but perhaps most notably for specifically this video, you can also create GLB files and GLTF files, both of which are sort of 3D interactable objects, think metaverse type um, assets, that you can also mint as NFTs and that there are actually free platforms that you can use to generate, and I'll show you that in just a bit. And so with that, the very first software I wanna show you guys is a very versatile one, it's called Blender and it actually supports both 2D and 3D content creation and it's completely free and open source and um, also has a ton of free tutorials that you can follow, right? So for example, if you go over to the tutorial section of Blender, you can start with any of these you know, free tutorials such as if you want to create 3D objects as your NFTs or if you want to do 2D, that would work as well or if you want to do both, you know, more power to you. But Blender is definitely a very powerful um, software and you know, of course it's free for you to create all sorts of types of uh, artwork and thus NFTs or even metaverse related assets if you want to go down that route. And now if you specifically want to create GLB or uh, GLTF files, which are again um, these types of uh, files, so like 3D images that you can use in games, these are GLTF files. And then you also have GLB, um, which is somewhat similar. But if you want to export in these types of file types with Blender or with some other software that I'll get into as, as well, uh, sometimes you'll have to download certain add-ons or use like a certain extension to export it with that file type. So that's just something to keep in mind uh, while using any of these software. Software. And with that, onto the next software, and this one I've actually covered before on my channel, and that's Vox Edit, which is from the Sandbox platform, which is like a metaverse game um, that recently had their alpha and have videos on that as well. But anyhow, you can use their completely free, by the way, free Vox Editor uh, or called Vox Edit to create these sort of 3D Roblox, sort of blocky uh, animated character looking uh, models. And um, these Vox models are not only you can sell them on, say, OpenSea, but if you have the privilege and you have the, uh, I believe, access user access to it because they're still in alpha phase if they open up to like a beta or beyond uh, there's a lot more possibility for this but uh, they also have their own marketplace is what i'm saying that you can potentially list some of these nfts on and not only that but if you actually purchase and own land within the sandbox although there is a definite much higher barrier of entry to that because it's quite, uh, quite expensive to own land within the sandbox metaverse but if you do you can also create nfts and even nft games or just use your game creator to create games and put them into your land and monetize that way. 
But anyhow, with the Vox editor, uh, in terms of file types, and by the way, I'll link a tutorial below for how you can actually use the Vox edit uh, software to easily create uh, NFTs, and they even have like templates that you can work with. But anyway, in terms of file types that you can actually export from Vox edit that you can then list onto, say, OpenSea or another NFT platform or marketplace, um, the ones that are compatible or the one that is compatible is the GLTF file format. So just make sure that you are exporting with this type of format if you want to upload uh, or mint an NFT. And for another software that you can use to create these types of 3D object NFTs or even uh, metaverse projects, we have the NVIDIA Omniverse software, which is also free. And with this, you can, uh, if I just scroll through here, um, there is a large variety of things that you can do with it, albeit some of it can be a bit more technical because this software is also famous for being able to simulate sort of real world uh, situations and physics and for like prototyping. Although you definitely don't have to go so far, uh, you can just sort of create, you know, simple objects if you want to just do NFTs, right? Although if you really wanted to make this, you know, take this to a next level, for example, if you want to develop stuff for the metaverse or perhaps find employment in that regard or uh, freelance, become a freelancer, you can definitely look into that. And um, again, you can check out some of the free tutorials that they have on their website. And so you can just follow along and learn, um, you know, with their videos and, and step-by-step guides. Anyhow, uh, for NFTs specifically though, the uh, NVIDIA Omniverse platform does support as you can see here, GLTF uh, file types. So that's definitely a way that you can export these types of files and then, you know, then mint as an NFT. All right, and for the last unique platform I want to highlight for now, we have the Unreal Engine. And uh, this is mainly for, or, or it was very famous for designing games. And in fact, many AAA uh, game titles have been developed with the Unreal Engine. Although you can definitely do other stuff with it, such as if you want to do more technical stuff, they do have um, things like video making, uh, just metaverse 3D experiences, uh, architecture simulations, uh, car simulations, etc, etc. But if you just want to do NFTs, it is definitely suitable for that as well. And by the way, it's obviously completely free as well and does also have lots of free tutorials and support that you can get right from the website. And now, um, one cool thing about Unity is that, or rather Unreal Engine, Unity is another one, but Unreal Engine here is that um, you can actually export uh, GITF file types, which are a specific file type, again, that you need to use for OpenSea and some other platforms. But for this, um, the cool thing about Unreal Engine is that you can download lots of different types of um, add-ons and things like even templates. So for, for instance, if you want to upload this file type, you can just download the uh, free uh, Git or GITF exporter to add to your uh, software to be able to export this type of file type. And for example, you can just design these like, you know, 3D assets, you know, as your NFTs, right? And speaking of um, downloadable, download, downloadable free assets, you can also check out their marketplace. And by the way, you can actually also sell on their marketplace. Uh, I actually set up my own uh, store already and you just need to input like some basic information, personal information, like tax information to be able to set up a store. So as you can see, we have like the seller portal. Seller portal. Um, I can list stuff on here if I want to. And so this is yet another avenue on which you can sell some of these digital assets uh, besides some of the traditional NFT marketplaces, right? And not only that, you can also download, or if you want to buy them, you can, you could as well, but you can also download uh, free content as you can see here. There's like even Epic free, Epic Games rather, uh, content, which is the, the company that creates Unreal Engine. Epic Games offers lots of free templates for you to, to use and tweak and so on and so forth, uh, such as this Git F exporter we just looked at, right? So uh, there's a ton of different types of projects you can uh, experiment with and lots of different templates you can start with um, and also tutorials to sort of, you know, get you um, started. And also before I move on to some of the platforms you can use to mint your NFTs and to list them for sale, I also want to briefly mention Fiverr as an option to not only perhaps outsource some of your work, uh, as in for people to help you create some of your artistic assets for your NFTs or even to add music to your video clips and things like that. Um, there are a ton of services on here. Um, for NFTs. Not only that, you can also consider selling your NFT creation or art, you know, whatever type of uh, assets you design services on Fiverr as well. And sort of if you label them as a NFT project uh, or for NFTs, uh, because it's such a huge trend right now, this could actually get you a little bit more traffic potentially, right? And by the way, on Fiverr, you can list up to seven gigs as a starting seller. So this can be just be one or a couple of the gigs that you list in addition to some of the more like, um, I guess, uh, traditional, um, you know, artistic assets that you'll have 
um, providing on the platform. And with that, getting into the actual NFT marketplaces for you to list and uh, mint your NFTs, we first have the most famous one, OpenSea, for which you need to have some kind of Ethereum wallet and they do support Ethereum and Polygon so you can do either type of uh, minting uh, and that people will just pay you that respective crypto token to purchase your NFT, right? Um, so with OpenSea, you can mint with either cryptocurrency and they also don't have a minting fee right now or actually when you first create your very first NFT, you do have to pay a small fee but after that, um, the fee comes after and rolled into whenever people purchase something which means you don't have to pay any subsequent after the first one you don't have to pay any more minting fees uh, so OpenSea is definitely a uh, viable option and it's you know the most popular one um, but it is one where there's a lot of clutter as well um, but first if you look at some of the um, different categories you'll see that there are indeed a lot there are even domain names so that's another type of perhaps asset to consider but you know it's obviously not the easiest to get into in my opinion there's music if you're into that photography is another cool category um, sports um, trading cards, utility, um, virtual worlds is what I think might have more potential or like one that has uh, people are not as you know easy to replicate or to copy each other's work right or to even create and that's where you might come in with your say unity created or 3d objects you created from any of these softwares that I mentioned right but obviously uh, whatever suits you uh, if you're some kind of uh, you know creator of any sort of asset if you are you know, creating things that are in demand regardless of what they are you know it could just be as simple as a, a funny selfie a series of funny selfies for instance um, that could actually become become something that sells although you know just obviously um, not a guarantee right and by the way speaking of which I just mentioned that OpenSea does have quite a bit of clutter and indeed because of that sort of free minting option a lot of people are sort of um, faking sort of or copying each other's NFTs so to speak or creating like projects that are really similar to existing ones that are popular um, so there's a possibility that OpenSea might come up with something to combat this in terms of how they mint stuff and perhaps how they sort of uh, authenticate um, or allow the types of projects that go on their platform and by the way, in order to actually mint an NFT, whenever you're uploading, say, an asset, if I just click on create and just click on my wallet real quick, um, all you have to do is to upload whatever asset you have and just select, you know, the blockchain you want to mint onto. And that's pretty much all you have to do to, you know, help use the platform rather to help you mint um, the NFT rather than having to go through the, you know, the blockchain yourself. Um, that's sort of the convenience of using one of these platforms. And onto the next platform, this is also a fairly popular one called Rarible. It supports three different types of blockchains, Ethereum, Flow, and Tezos. So you'll need that respective crypto wallet uh, with the respective you know blockchain that you want to use and it does also have lots of different types of uh, file types and as you can see here and it also supports free minting although the catch with free minting is that uh, if you enable that option the nfts that you upload will actually be added to the specifically the variable collection but if you want to create your own collection and be able to sort of you know represent it um, and like say market it you'll have to sort of front the gas fees uh, with that. And speaking of free minting, another platform that allows this and also has these sort of same pros and cons is Mintable. Uh, my friends actually have listed their own NFTs on here, although they haven't sold anything, but it's sort of memes with our faces or their faces on it. It's pretty funny. But anyhow, um, it's very easy to mint on here because of the obviously the free nature of the minting. Um, although, you know, sort of the pros and cons are similar, as I said, right? Um, you don't actually get to, or well, if you want to make a series for yourself, you want to go with traditional minting or having you know the ones that you sell be minted or you know with the gas fees be paid but if you don't want gas fees you have to um, commit to putting your NFTs within the mintable collection or the mintable store rather than your very own collection or store and finally last but not least we have Holoplex which is another platform that you can mint your NFTs on but the unique thing about this platform is that it uses the Solana blockchain 
which if you've been you know reading up some of the crypto and nft news you'll know that uh, solana is one of the cheapest ways to mint nfts and has thus caused the uh, crypto price to go up significantly because of its popularity with you know minting nfts and efficiency and the low cost or the low gas fees right but again if you do use ethereum there are perks to using that as well uh, such as you know future prospects of ethereum um you know appreciation of the ethereum you know token itself affecting you know the worth of your nfts and so on and so forth right but solana is another huge cryptocurrency by market cap that a lot of people are uh, or believe in because of the uh, because they use a special way to sort of register transactions on the blockchain i'm not going to get into that in this video but anyhow with that uh, you can use Holoplex for Solana um, and you do have to set up a wallet that is compatible with Solana as well. And now to sort of wrap things up, it definitely isn't super easy to make money selling NFTs, especially if you're starting from scratch in that you don't really have a reputation as a, an artist or a designer. But if you can get sort of the word out through say social media, uh, establishing your own social media page through Instagram or Pinterest or Facebook and the like or a website, or just getting the word out there through say uh, Twitter, Discord. Some people do like giveaways for NFTs, right? To try to get hype. Um, there are other ways that people use to promote NFTs as well. But in my opinion, if you want sort of long-term success you really want to establish yourself as somebody who is a skilled you know you know creator and have sort of a portfolio or body of work to back yourself up right and even if you're not like an artist necessarily there's also other ways to make money with nfts right such as personally i don't really create any nfts for sale but i do uh, sort of speculate on and invest in uh, nft related cryptocurrencies right such as the aforementioned Ethereum, Solana, uh, etc. So I definitely think there's a lot of potential with this space, especially when you expand to you know different types of more advanced NFTs uh, for use in the metaverse, for example. So definitely stay tuned for that. And as such, I also think there's a huge opportunity with uh, all these softwares that I mentioned in the video, right? Like uh, Unreal Engine, the uh, Nvidia Omniverse, and also Blender, right? But anyhow, with that, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what types of NFTs you might be interested in creating or maybe investing in. Uh, and with that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.